This is how everything turned out with all the stuff that we got from Walmart and Party City. This was just for the at-home celebration with her and the twins in our slumber party. Thank you. Y'all didn't want to. Oh yeah, let me get my apple plant here. Okay. Mmm, that crab cake is very good. Okay, y'all ready? Are you scared? I'm scared. Look at me, I'm scared. Okay, I'm going in. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cold. It's good. It's just the texture. <laughs> it's just the texture, but it's good. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be yeah. Chew it, chew it, chew it. <laughs> it is just the texture. It's just the texture. The flavor is not bad at all. You said you put avocado with the crab cake? Oh. Is it, oh, is this like cold slaw? I just need to do it. Oh, you do? Oh, I didn't know you, you, I didn't know you was a big fan like that, girl. It was cold. It's, just, it's literally just the texture. The taste was not bad at all. He said these are some of the best oysters he ever had, so. I mean, that's okay. If you don't have that, you're going to have the ones out of the pan. Yeah, so anything's upgrade from there. Yeah, we need to touch this You like the crab? Oh, you like the crab thing? Oh, you like the soup? Oh, you like the crab thing? Was that your first time having one? Yeah. It was actually really good. I ate it all in one. I didn't take it back. Mmm. Mm -hmm. What you doing, girl? The crab cake. Yeah, pretty good. Oh, wait. <laughs> 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 Oh, they were great. Yeah. They were good. They were really good. <laughs> Is it possible I can get a second margarita? Of course. No, we only took one margarita. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right back in okay? Thank you.
She got the lobster mac and cheese. So, what was your favorite thing that you tried tonight? <laughs> My steak treats was really good. I, whatever the sauce was called, it was good. I didn't even need no steak sauce. Good? Yes, we are. I'm done. You sure. <laughs> I want to rush you. you know? Oh, no rush. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was great. Was. Tell the chef he did a wonderful job. She or he? Yeah, there's, there's both in there. Oh, great! Wonderful, wonderful job. So the place is about to close. We are waiting on our beignets. I have been waiting my whole life since Princess and the Frog to try beignets. They look so good on the movie. He said it's four on one serving, so we're gonna get two, try them here, and then take them home. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> uh huh. You could get probably like. Oh, thing just happened um my uber pulls up i'm like hi pick up for kriana um like are you ryan check the license plate everything he's like yeah cool and he's like are you gonna be putting your bag in the trunk and i said yes unless you have a preference and he's like yeah put it in the trunk but i'll close the trunk for you and i said okay are you going to i'm sorry i'm right now i was like okay are you going to open it as well and as I'm putting the stuff in the trunk literally the trunk is open my leg is like on the car and I am I got the suitcase in my hand he starts pulling up and so I'm like okay I'm thinking maybe he's trying to make room for the other cars picking people up and he just dries off and then I get the notification saying that he canceled the ride that was the weirdest thing ever I'm actually, I need to, I was about to do it now. I need to go back in and rate him because I don't know what that was. That was very, very, like, I'm, I don't know. That was just so weird to me. Like, we just had a whole conversation and I don't know if he thought I had an attitude because I said, are you going to open it as well? I just didn't want to mess up his car. You know how people are particular about their car. So I'm like, okay, well, if he has to close it, <laughs> do you have to open it? And literally, he just pulls off. He didn't even say anything as he was pulling off. Like, oh, sorry. Like, he literally just starts driving off with me in his trunk. And I'm like, um, I'm like watching him drive off. And then he drives all the way around the lot. And then I get the notification saying that he canceled the ride. Like, that was the weirdest thing ever. 
Um, this LA trip is starting off weird, but still exciting. I am waiting on another ride. It did just give me another one. I hope y'all just heard that. I was kind of covering the mic, but they did just give me another driver. Um, it took a little bit for me to even find where the pickup is. I forgot. I don't really care for LA people like that. They're not the friendliest. Like, even when I asked the guard, because I'm on the phone with Milan, and I be, I mean, I should have FaceTimed her so she could see, but we were on the phone, and she was trying to, like, say where where is the best spot to get picked up, and I was upstairs from the spot, but I saw him, like, turning away all the cars, and it was, and then I started, like, you know, looking around and reading. I'm like, okay, that says buses, so I asked the parking lot um, the guard, like, oh, um, so if I'm doing Uber, they can't come up here. And before I even like really finished my sentence, as soon as I said Uber, he was just like, no. And then turned his head and I'm like, so where would I go? Like, and he's like, oh, you would have to go downstairs, but I can't really explain it. The guy down there by the fish tank could answer it better. And then I get to the guy down there, he on the other side, of, away from the fish tank. And he was like helping out all these people. He helped out this black guy first who asked, I'm assuming where is Uber? Um, and then... There was this other guy who needed something else and he's like oh let me show you and i'm like oh wait i just wanted to know can you point me in the direction of where i can get picked up for uber he's like oh yeah follow that guy follow that guy <laughs> so i come out and like as soon as i walk out the doors we in a dark parking lot and i don't see nobody but then everybody was like walking off to the side so child i followed the group and i found the pickup spot got me a weird 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 driver and now i am waiting on my other driver so yeah that's how LA is starting off. Uh, once I get there, I do have to um, take a rapid test since I'm staying with Milan. And yeah, I'm just chilling. I just thought that was very weird. Like I've never, ever, ever had anything like that happen to me. Like I'm literally in his car basically and he just pulls off. Like, so were you gonna cancel it once I got in? That was just strange. But let me take a look and see what this other car looks like how long it's gonna be here i think it said like 11 minutes so child i'm over it <laughs> i'm over it but i'm trying to stay happy i'm about to hit my pen and just wait for my next one oh my gosh y'all so i am finally 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 reunited with and her place is so cute i'm not gonna show her whole place because i don't want to invade her privacy but her place is so cute i'm just so proud of her i'm just so proud of you like <laughs> i'm just so happy to be here girl actually hold on put this down i'm gonna come back to y'all but uh. hey y'all so i have not checked in since i got here well kind of i guess i'm gonna have to check in because i was like talking eating chilling until we fell asleep so I mean, there was nothing to really record. We had some wine, and we walked and got some food from Whole Foods. Got a little bottle, and yeah, we just like chill for the night. So today is supposed to be the activity day. Right now, we were doing a dinner reservation. Well, Juan is doing the dinner reservation, and Zoe and Chanel are supposed to be coming over around twelve. We're gonna do like a Sip and paint situation and Milan and I are gonna like meditate and do some yoga before they get here. And yeah, we just woke up, had some tea, we've just been chilling, kind of somewhat planning the day. And I'm about to get in the shower now. I just wanted to check in with y'all. And you know, I made it safe. I've been having a good time already. And yeah, I'm excited for today. Bye bye. Hey y'all, so um, it's been a little bit since I really got to check in. I think the last time I checked in was right before I got into the shower, but it is almost 2.30. Um, the girls are still on their way. The girls have been on their way for like three, four hours <laughs> now, but um, we're not on a schedule. We're just chilling today. My friend Chanel Nail is coming over and then Zoe is coming and I'm already with Milan and it's just gonna be us. And um, Milan, the hostess with the mostest, has all the fixings for a paint and sip, like all the fixings. Um, we didn't, we were going to meditate and do some yoga today, but you know, we were just up chilling. So we ended up like waking up. I woke up at like, she left her phone. I wonder if
this girl. Hmm? Maybe she has her phone with her and it's like, you know what, Apple, how everything is connected. But um, anyway, so yeah, the girls are on their way. We just came back from walking to the store. We got some goodies. Let me show y'all. So there's this store, across the street from Milan Shop, and they had a whole bunch of different cool type of snacks. So Milan got this matcha Kit Kat which she said she wanted in the freezer, so I'll put that in there for her. And we've got these sour cream and bacon chips. The guy, he said these were good. So he looked like he snacked, so I, you know, I was, I'm trusting his opinion. These, I don't really know the flavor. As you can see, it's not really in English. Um, I'm thinking it's like a savory type of kebab meat flavor. And then we got these taco flavored Doritos, which I'm actually really excited about. I feel like these with the not, you know how you do your homemade nachos with Doritos, but with the taco Doritos, I feel like that might be fire, but I haven't tried any of this stuff yet. So that's all, yeah, that's all the snacks that we got. I'm going to try those. Um, Chanel is bringing over some stuff. Chanel is also bringing over some snacks. And like I said, we're just going to chill. Um, we did make reservations for 7.45. And I think she made them at two different spots or one spot. And I don't remember. Um, but I just wanted steak. So <laughs> we're going to a steakhouse. And yeah, other than that, we're going to chill. We may go to this reggae fest we may go to the tupac but like, you know it, it's kind of up in the air we're gonna see what everyone's feeling like we got some cards and card games and you know games on our phones so yeah we're just filling it out yeah we're just there we go yeah we're just filling it out and yeah milan's place is so nice you guys like like i said i don't want to invade her privacy oh there she goes oh my gosh i have a cleanse i can't bring this gonna let you get comfortable right right now she gotta get the socks right and the easies right I'm just saying, damn. Hi, Zoe. I'm oh, sorry. I took a COVID test. I took a COVID test. I am not. I have a good hug.
ready? Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday to us. Brianna. Or we're all set? I think we're set, okay. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, so. Can you have a mic? <laughs> or open yours. Let's see. Yeah, right. I was trying to play. That's cute. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> talk about a freaking trip so um i don't even know how much i actually vlogged yesterday like i said i just wanted to spend time with my girls and just you know everyone was getting to know each other like everyone just knew me um so we had a really good time we so milan's building has parking but she has one guaranteed spot you yeah, know i got a story so um both Zoe and Chanel were driving to the spot so it was kind of like first come first serve whoever get there first got Milan's spot and then whoever else will just pay for one of the lots around there so it she lives like like right in front of her building there's like three different lots and there's one like right next to her that was it was ten dollars all day parking ten dollars all day in, all day parking keep that in mind so um like you know everybody was getting there the time kept getting pushed back you know we was just chilling whatever so everybody everybody finally gets there Zoe gets there first so Chanel had to do the paid parking um which I paid for her parking because she was my guest uh it was only ten dollars plus I tipped the guy and upon parking we were not made aware of any sort of closure times you know like this like nothing um we weren't trying to be out all night like literally the restaurant we went to was in walking distance like we were literally right there all night and you can kind of see the lot like from Alon's place a little bit so you know we were just like whatever we didn't even think twice about it and you know I'm tipping him thinking I'm doing something like oh here you go like remember me watch this car so we have our fun whatever she came around like two-ish two I think and um you know we did our paint and sip which i did i did okay so i did get some footage of that and you know we was just vibing out we went to dinner all that so around midnight literally midnight the party was shutting down conversation everything she was like, okay i think i'm gonna go we walk her downstairs and we get to her car the lock is locked like two gates the padded lock with a code so we're just like okay you know like it, it wasn't immediate panic it's like okay call the number we're calling the number it was first going straight to voicemail then it was ringing and then going to voicemail it was just like so we start going around to the different guards the different lots like you know do you know him is he on break like kind of just trying to see like what like what's going on like what should we do and everyone's just like oh i don't know ask this person i don't know go across the street ask that person i don't know i don't know so we're going to all these different lots we're going we're asking people we even saw a police officer drive by and it's like officer officer please like my friend's car is locked in there and he was just like oh yeah like that you know people's cars get locked in lots a lot over here like da -da -da -da. and i'm just like he's like yeah we don't have any like power in that situation and at this point we like like somebody needs to call a locksmith but it's p public parking so like they, that's illegal it's like breaking and entering so chanel ended up having to spend the night because there was no one there to get the lot you know like i said we can't we were literally right next door so we were listening out to make sure not, like you know her car didn't get towed or whatever we got up early we were stalking stalking the lot and my bus which is a whole nother story was was to leave at 11 11 5 and i'm like you know i got up at 7 because i'm like i want to get the issue resolved as soon as possible so that can be dealt with and you know i could just leave in peace on a good note which it wasn't bad because like you know milan is very hospitable like what you need i got you da 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 I'm have sex her back um so anyway trying to wrap this up so we woke up early um we waited around waited around it's like 10 10 you know like it's really pushing it and la traffic can be trying to kind of iffy and i hate rushing when i travel like 
I go everywhere an hour to two hours early because I don't like to rush and I've been eating the fine places and some places are bigger than others so it's like if you go to the wrong terminal you gotta go way to the other side so I'm just like I don't really know Union Station like that so I just wanted to leave at like 10 so I can at least have like 20 minutes to figure it out so um you know like the time is pushing we still waiting around we calling we didn't talk to our mamas and like we didn't try everything under the sun and finally i'm just like so what we can do is like i could pay for you a uber to go home and then like pay for you a uber to come back tomorrow to get your car because like their website said they were only open monday through friday nine to five but we parked there on a Saturday evening. So that right there was just like, okay, so they already are not aligned with their shit. It's like, then I'm over here thinking like, was he scamming? Like, did he cut the lock and then was just charging for parking? Like, because the price had also changed. It was $10, but then when we went back down to get her car, the sign was changed to 15. So it was just like getting sketchier and sketchier. So I was like outside waiting for my Uber, which canceled on me. This is all this morning. I was outside like, I. I'm texting him, I'm like, I'm coming down, the elevator was taking long, so I'm, me and Milan are like running around, and then I get downstairs, I'm like, I'm right in front, and he's like a block ahead of where he's supposed to be, but I kind of spotted him, so I was like, I think that might be him, because it was the white car, and he, like, I called him, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm right in front of the, the uh, apartment building, blah, 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 and he was like, heavy accent, kind of I guess he was fussing at me but I couldn't really hear him because it was on speaker and I'm just like I can't like hear you I can't understand you and he's like I've been waiting and then he hung up the phone and I see that that car that I thought it was pull off so I'm pretty sure that was him um so then now I'm in front of that parking lot and I'm just like we're still trying to like call to get her car out and just do anything and then it's like now I'm dealing with Uber's canceling on me it's like the time is pushing closer and closer to my bus um, so I did get another Uber and in the midst of us waiting for my other Uber, Milan just like took off running and I see a van was like pulling up to the, the lot that Chanel's car was in. So Milan go running and like, you know, she goes into the lot and I, I see her talking to somebody and, um, you know, I'm, I'm ordering my Uber. So I'm just like, okay, I call Chanel like, girl, come get your car. I'm all heck happy like, girl, your car, come get your car. And she's like, okay, cool. I walk into the lot and Milan and the dude is like like Milan is getting there like she wasn't going off on him or nothing but she was definitely like like what do you mean what do you mean and in her face y'all if it's one thing about Milan you could definitely tell how she's feeling with her face like the minute you say something just like off she her whole face changes so I'm just like okay what's going on and she's like he's talking about we got to pay 30 more dollars and he's like yeah 30 30 and then my like, milan's like no because y'all locked the car nobody told us the time like she's telling him the facts um but they kind of like you know going back because he was very aggressive and it's like you're not even listening to the situation he's like no overnight parking is 30 dollars she's like we didn't want overnight parking like we weren't even told that the lot would be locked down <sighs> so um they're going back and forth and he lowered his price to 20 and then i'm like okay listen like i'm literally i had to like okay okay, okay look, i'm like listen to like look at me i told him what the situation was like you know we came in i paid him i tipped him and he like no and i'm he thinking because i said i tipped him that I, i'm not expecting that i'm telling you the facts we did this i tipped him we paid for the thing he never told us no time he's talking about he closed at 12 30 and i'm like okay okay that's fine so it closes at 12 30. we were down here at 12 09 and it was like locked down, nobody was around closing it up. He, uh, no, 12.30, my limit and 11. And then he just starts switching up his stuff. So then I'm just like, basically I'm telling him like, no, like I'm very calm. I'm very like diplomatic. I was just like, no, like, um, no, these are the facts. Like he didn't tell us these things. There's no, literally y'all have no indication of what time y'all close. Y'all don't even communicate that to the, person when they're dropping their car off y'all don't exchange them like i don't do anything you just took the money parked the car and then locked it in there so he thought he was doing something and called the owner or the his manager or whoever and you know he's talking in spanish telling him i guess his side and he like here 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 and i'm like what he's like he, he want to talk to you so i i told him the story very calmly this is what happened blah, blah blah i told him how we talked to a police officer how we talked to every apartment manager security guard like and our stuff is clocked like we were the dude told us 12 30 and then i told him we were here before that and then he changed it to 11 he changed it from we owe him 30 more to 20 more so like i was just like it's just like horrible service like you know the car was locked in and then this morning when we're trying to resolve the issue we're met with aggression 
so he was just like, okay, let me talk to him. And then he let us out. Then the dude was just like, oh, okay, sorry. Like, you know, it's just my job. And blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, wait. I get it, whatever. Like, I, I'm not petty by any means. Like, as long as I get my way, I don't have to have the last word. I don't have to, yeah, mm -hmm, like, because in the end, I got what I want. So I'm satisfied. Her car got out of the lot without having to be paid i could be polite to you okay thank you have a great day and you know like i get it it's your job mm -hmm. but um you didn't really represent your company too well and maybe and i was like yeah maybe you should tell them to at least put the times on there so you don't have this issue anymore so to how we did that i'm here now i missed my bus um but luckily like Ch chanel was able to give me a ride so i still got here a little faster than i would have in an uber but my dumb self i literally got dropped off right by the bus area but like i said i don't know union station and they don't have like this is the bus terminal this is the, even though they kind of do but it's like it's not just worded super clearly especially when you're in a rush you're just like frantic so i did miss my bus um i went to the guy was like i did see one for 12.55 but because i was going to richmond originally he's like oh wow it's not one till seven o'clock and i'm like what like i cannot sit at this train to seven o'clock at first i'm like okay whatever i'll just go back to milan's spend the rest of the day my friend but i'm just like like now i gotta take an uber back to her place um but he ended up i was just like okay well, can, do you have track london emeryville like just get me in the area i can get burnt. like you know just get me to oakland get me to oakland and i will be okay so i was able to get the 1255 bus to emeryville and i'll just probably take the train um i'll take bart and then take uber from there like closer to my house so all's well that ends well you know it's not a trip without a little hiccup um because that's what makes it memorable besides all the good vibes like everything can't be perfect it was too perfect so everyone got along really well everyone was talking conversation was great just black women out enjoying life enjoying each other so i have no complaints um i'm sitting in the sun for the lighting but i have to move because i'm hot i was running i need to call my mama i need to text everybody tell them you know i didn't make it but i got another one and yeah I'm about to wind down before this long journey back home basically like girl where is you at I, I actually i'm still gonna beat him home he's gonna be at work when i get back so you ain't even gotta know about this <laughs> maybe between us but yeah i'll probably just see y'all when i get back home if anything else happens along this journey <sighs> bye y'all thank you for tuning into vlogmas 2022 with lady cree make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any episodes we are here all month long and also make sure you hit that like button leave your girl a comment i will see y'all in the next video bye